All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Really, Fox? Another Minecraft video? Haven't you done like six of those lately? And to that I say, shut up, I like Minecraft. But really, I've been really thinking about what you can play Minecraft on, because it's such a wide variety. You can play on really anything, your Xbox 360, your PlayStation 3, your Switch. I mean, I even think it came out on the 3DS. And we all know that you can play on PC, Windows, Mac, your phone, and many other options. But what about Linux? You see, Linux can be very, very difficult and very tough when it comes to playing games. And to be frank, I don't really feel like learning to code. But what about Zorin OS? It seems to be like a Windows like Linux distro, and apparently installing Minecraft to it is supposed to be, well, easy. So I guess, you know, we can go ahead and try. So what I'm going to be using to try this little experiment is this little low-end gaming machine that I built. It's, new, it's not super strong, but it should work fine. It's sporting an Intel Core i5 and an R7 2050 graphics card, though I might switch it out for this GTS 450 I have. But anyway, let's get into installing the OS. First, we need to download the OS. So if we just go ahead and Google Zorin OS, I'm sure we'll find it. And then we need to use Rufus to make a bootable USB drive. You go ahead and follow just all the on-screen instructions and just let us do its thing. Don't worry, I sped it way up here. All right, next thing I think we wanna do is plug the USB stick that we use with Rufus and plug it into the computer. And next we'll boot into, well, the boot menu of the computer. We'll install from the USB while it does its thing. Let me tell you guys why I'm even thinking about this. You see, Windows 11 came out and even after upgrading my system's hardware, I still don't even meet the minimum specs. And what's worse is that they mentioned that they're working on Windows 12. So out of my curiosity, I was like, what if there's an OS that I could stream, record, and do my everyday tasks that was lightweight and not run by Microsoft? And that's when someone in my Discord DM'd me about something called Zorin OS. And I don't know, maybe for a month we might go ahead and try this. Anyway, it looks like Minecraft's done installing, so let's go ahead and check this out. I just want to note here that this would be a lot quicker if I installed it to the hard drive, but right now I'm still running off the USB, and Minecraft's been loading for so long that I think we might go ahead and install the hard drive. Okay, after rebooting the computer, and installing the OS, and reinstalling Minecraft, we're also set to start playing Minecraft natively on a modded distro of Ubuntu Linux. And, well, I mean, how does it run? Well, color me shocked, it actually ran natively at 1080p, almost high settings at a consistent 60 FPS. And that's with low-end hardware. I mean, let me reiterate, this computer took me less than $150 to build. And it supports OBS and gaming? I mean, I haven't really tried anything like Steam, of course, and I'm sure the stability would be different. But... If you want to get into cheap PC gaming and you play Minecraft, this might be it for you. I I'm guessing without all that Windows bloatware, the background processing of this computer is just able to take full advantage of the hardware it's utilizing. And this hardware is cheap parts I bought off Facebook Marketplace for like $120, but this, this is really good. And with OBS being supported, Minecraft and even a custom launcher built into the OS store called LT Legacy that has Forge and Fabric built in you could be playing recent mod packs like RL Craft or One Block, like right out the get go. All right, final thoughts for this incredibly short, incredibly short video. I've tried using Ubuntu and I've tried using Pop OS, and I think Zorin might be the real deal. The interface was smooth, the OS itself was lightweight, with no need to code or anything. I had Minecraft running relatively quickly. The only downside I saw is I had an old hard drive installed that made the installation slow, but once it was running, it was running. Anyway, with all that being said, I think I might be using Zorin OS as my second system's OS. And if you're looking to play Minecraft but your mod like your hardware's weak and your game's slow on modern Windows, maybe give Zorin OS a try. What do you have to lose? This ex entire experience was pleasant to say the least. And with all that, I think I'm off. Thank you for watching Foxit Reality, and I will see you in the next one.